Hey out there in YouTube land. This is my first vlog. Um, I've uh, watched a few people do vlogs and I like it. It's just talking about whatever that you feel, whatever's going on in your life or whatever your thoughts and dreams are and I love it. So I said that I wanted to try it and uh, see what it's all about. I don't know if I'll be able to record every day. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, who knows. But, uh, for those of you that don't know, the C stands for Cassandra. Cassandra, that's me. I, I just want to get on and, and let you know that I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I work, and I'm always tired because I'm forever doing something. That's, that's my life in a nutshell. I'm always doing something and try to crochet in between. But what I wanted to talk about today was... Uh, tofu. A lot of people don't like tofu. I don't know if it's the way it's prepared or whatever it is. Uh, and I used to be one of those because a long, long time ago I tried tofu and it wasn't what I thought it was. It didn't taste like I thought it was going to taste. But my girlfriend, whose friend is a vegetarian, he eats nothing but tofu or, or different vegetarian things and she used to make these meals and she would bring some to work to let me try them and they were really really good being that I like vegetables and tofu is nothing but a vegetable and anything that's vegetarian is mostly vegetable or all vegetable uh, I, I don't know why I haven't used tofu before but the way that the economy is today, we all may have to revert to eating meatless meals. I mean, food is really, really expensive. And there are things that you like. You could go to the grocery store and pick up three or four items and spend 20 bucks. And you're like, what? So, uh, you know, I, 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 I try to, uh, I've tried to change the way that we eat food. We don't eat a whole lot of red meat and uh, my husband is allergic to chicken. <laughs> a black man allergic to chicken. How funny is that, right? So we don't eat any chicken. I mean, my daughter and I, if we want chicken, we'll go out and buy some. Or I don't cook it at home because I don't want to make the mistake and he not know, he, he's not knowing what it is. He's in there eating and he's getting sick from eating chicken. So I don't buy it I don't buy chicken products or anything like that. Um, so we 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 may have uh, some pork, but mostly we eat turkey. You know, ground turkey or turkey cutlets or turkey tenderloins. Those used to be the cheapest things that you could buy because people weren't into the turkey like they are today. And some people that do turkey don't. Some stores just their turkey is. Bleh nasty okay but I buy Kroger brand turkey and I'll buy butterball turkey ground turkey or their turkey products and those are really really good because they taste like ground meat or whatever so yeah we eat lots and lots of turkey but like I'm saying my girlfriend when she let me try those meals that she was making I was like hmm I was talking to my husband about them and he was looking at me like mm hmm mm hmm whatever so <laughs> So one night, um, I asked my girlfriend what did she use to make her turkey, not turkey, I'm sorry, her tofu pasta. And she told me how to prepare it, which was to buy the tofu, I think I bought two packages of this tofu right here, the extra from the soya, extra firm tofu. And this is not that expensive. Sometimes you can catch it on sale at Kroger's or wherever you go. And what she does is take a little bit of olive oil in a skillet. She took, cuts it, I guess, about an inch, maybe an inch thick, and she um, fries it. And then she chops it up and put it in a pasta. But the recipe is rotini, the the garden-style rotini noodles with the, the tricolor noodles. It's the rotini, the tofu, uh, a bag of vegetables, uh, I think it's broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots, and uh, red pepper, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and Italian dressing, uh, 
whatever Italian dressing that you want, of course. And you mix it all up, and voila, you have a really fantastic meal. And this is really, really good. And she seasons hers with spike, spike seasonings, I think it is. And that's good. I didn't buy spike seasonings, but my husband, who's from Louisiana, they they love Tony Tony Chatteris. This original Creole seasoning, Tony Chatteris. Now you can't really find this big jar. I haven't seen it in any grocery store this size. I get this from Louisiana. We go three three times or more in a year. And when we go there, I go to Sam's and I buy those because they're like two for five bucks. And you don't get them that size here in Georgia. So I'll, most of the food that we eat, we season it with Tony Chatteris and it gives it a great flavor. Great flavor. So that was a few months ago when I made it the first time. And on last Friday, my husband wanted it again because he said he's a virgin. <laughs> what? what? What's a virgin? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I know what he meant. I know what he meant, but I was just having fun with him. But he asked for that. So I was like, okay. So I made the pasta last Friday. And we ate off of that on Friday. And we had it for lunch on Saturday. And um, we had something else for dinner on Saturday night. And on Sunday, we still had a little bit left because it makes a really, really big bowl. A really nice size bowl. So I baked some fish and I made the fish kind of peppery. And it was divine. It was divine. It was really, really good. Leftover tofu pasta with some fish, baked fish. It was really, really good. So um, I was like, okay, that's it. And then he, he said to me on Sunday, well, let's have some more tofu on Monday. And I'm looking at him like, what is this, the tofu house? <laughs> so anyway, after work, I went to the grocery store and I picked up a couple containers of tofu and I got um, some pick sweet. That's P I C S W E E T. Pick sweet vegetables are awesome. If you guys don't have them, try them. I mean, store brand vegetables are fine, but pick sweet vegetables to me are much more flavorful. I love those vegetables, and we use them often when I make my meals with turkey. You know, so hey, well, you know, I like the pick sweet, and most of them come already pre seasoned with pepper or something. So. They're, they're just the truth to me. So I got the oriental style pick sweet vegetables in a family size bag. And I think I just made regular rice. Um, the They had stir fry um, sauce to pour over into the stir fry. I tasted it before I put it on the It wasn't good. I don't, I don't like that flavor. That So I just ended up using... The Tony Chatteris, a little pepper and a little garlic and a little salt to season it. Although it did have some kind of seasoning on it already. And when I added some, um, uh, what do you call those mushrooms? They were Button Bella mushrooms, I believe. I added the mushrooms to the stir fry and that was absolutely delicious. It was enough to where we had to, some to eat for a meal the next day. So, um, this Friday, <laughs> he called and said, Let's have some more tofu, another meal with tofu. So I had to call my girlfriend. And I'm like, well, what's another meal that we can use or make with tofu? And she said, well, try the barbecue tofu. And I was like, barbecue tofu? She was like, yeah, remember I talked to you about the barbecue tofu? I said, okay. So I didn't, I didn't make it on Friday because we had another meal uh, that we had had earlier in the week. And I don't like the waste food. So we had leftovers last night. Uh, so tonight, which is Saturday the 31st, I'm going to make uh, barbecue tofu. And how you make the barbecue tofu is you can cut it into nice thick slices and uh, I guess like chicken fingers, if you will. Nice thick slices and, and, and chop it up like that and put it in the oven with barbecue sauce, bell pepper, and onion and let it cook until it's ready to eat and as a side dish I'm going to do um, I'm going to saute some I have fresh zucchini and squash I'm going to chop that up and saute it with some minced garlic a little bit of olive oil uh, some onion in a skillet and I may do rice or potato probably the long grain rice or something and it's not like the healthiest meal ever because I just don't do brown rice brown rice and me uh, but I'll do rice or potato. It's just, it's, 
we're, we're trying to be as healthy as possible. So yeah, that's going to be tonight's meal. And I hope it comes out really good. I know it is. My girlfriend is telling me all these fantastic recipes that she has. And I've watched a few videos on YouTube about vegetarian cooking or ways to cook tofu. And I'm excited to try the chicken or the tofu nuggets that look like chicken nuggets. I'm really, really excited to try that. And I'm pretty sure at some point in time, uh, next week, <laughs> we may have those tofu nuggets to try, and I'll tell you guys all about that. But, yeah, um, tofu is something that you guys have got to try. Try it once, and if if you go to a, a vegetarian restaurant that makes it, and, and, and you get to try it there, you may find that you love it, and it's a great meat substitute, and it's um, definitely nutritious for you. So I hope you guys would, or those that just say that they'll never try tofu, at least try it once. The, another meal I want to make is the jerk tofu. I heard that that was absolutely delicious. So I'm looking forward to uh, trying that meal out also. But that's basically what I want to talk about. It's something that I'm going to try and Maybe I'll get on the next video and I'll be ranting because somebody has made me lose my cool. I hope not. But, you know, this is my first vlog. So thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.